Hi there, this is Laura from Intelligent Controls. If you're already using a Victron Servo GX device, you know that there are two relays that can be programmed. The most common use of these relays is alarms, and relay one is typically used as a dry contact for generator auto starting. Relay two was historically not used and was only manually operable from the touch screen. Not anymore. It's now possible to control servo relays using a Ruby sensor. If you're not familiar with the Ruby, these are extremely durable wireless sensors that remotely monitor temperature, air humidity, air pressure, and motion. It's a lovely Finnish company, awesome product. The Ruby is super easy to set up and with the servo integration can be monitored remotely. They run with a common coin battery, which you can easily replace yourself after two or three years of operation. They can be mounted literally anywhere you can think of, and there is no limit to the number of sensors you can set up and start monitoring. See the link below for my walkthrough of Ruby's main sensors, kits, and helpful accessories. Recently, Victron Energy pushed an update to the Servo's firmware to support the use of Ruby sensors. By connecting these sensors to your Servo, you're adding valuable information to your existing monitoring solution, which is pretty great. And it also provides the option for controls based on temperature, for which there are endless practical and impractical but entertaining use cases. I'm sure you've already got a few ideas in mind. Using Victron Servo GX, you can now use those built-in relays to accomplish any goal, like trigger an alarm, turn on a fan, a heater, a blinking red light, all based on real-time data coming from the Ruby sensor. And once configured, you can trigger alerts inside Victron's remote monitoring service, VRM, to send you an email notification when, for example, the temperature in your freezer gets too warm or the chicken coop gets too cold. Check out the link to my blog below, which gives step-by-step -step instructions and helpful tips for connecting an out-of-the-box Ruby to a servo, how to set up a relay controlled by temperature, and how to set up those alerts inside VRM. If you're not already using VRM, you really should. It's free and with an internet connection, talks to the servo and lets you remotely monitor your system's performance and log that data over time. A fun fact, if your servo is in and out of internet coverage, maybe because you're sailing around the world, the optional SD card will data log for you and upload that data to VRM when you regain a signal. Pretty cool, right? If this information was helpful to you, I invite you to subscribe to our channel and look out for upcoming videos on VRM and other useful information about the Victron product line. Thanks very much and bye for now.